Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a problem that can be solved using a combination of index and small formulas in Excel and also index and large. So let's start with example number one using the index and small. So in this case, we have uh, colors here, a set of colors and their respective scores. And the goal is just to put all the scores here for the blue, for the red, and the orange in this format. So we're going to use index and small for that. And uh, we're going to start with a small function. And uh, I'm writing the small now. And uh, for the array of the small, the first thing is to make an if statement and uh, an array uh, formula using this value. With this value here, all of this, uh, one by one, to be evaluated by the if if it's equal to the blue here, the blue, red, or orange, close it. That's the, uh, no, no, comma. That's the logical test. Let me lock it first. F4, and this time, in this case, uh, lock the row. And then if the value, if true, is a row. So um, we're going to use this row here for the score, F4. And then minus minimum, the minimum row that we have here. The same thing, this array, F4, close the row, close the mean, plus 1. Because if there's no plus 1, the array that we are creating will start at 0. So let me check it without the 1 here. This row minus row, F9, that will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Control Z. That's why we added 1 here to start at 1. So that's it. Control Z. That's the value. If true, close it. Leave it blank. If it is false, comma. Now we're working on the K for the small. Now the K for the small is either 1, 2, 3. The first smallest, second smallest, and so on. But this time, we're going to use the trick, which is the rows formula. We create an expandable cell here. I will use this cell, colon, lock the first cell here, and for this uh, part, just lock the column because we're going to copy and paste it. And as you copy and paste it downwards, that will be expanded. Then close the, close the small, and uh, you're going to use Control shift enter for that because that's an array formula. So that's it. That's one because this is one, and then just Control C and copy and paste it to all the cells here, and that's it. That's the row number of this blue, blue, and uh, blue. It's the same thing with red and orange. Now, uh, we wanted to have the actual score here. That's why we will uh, put an index formula for that combination of index because the array that, we'll, that we're going to use is this particular score here, F4 comma, close the index at the end. And then to eliminate this num error here, just put if error, if error, open parenthesis at the end of the formula, comma, put double quote for a blank, close it, control shift, enter, copy and paste it again to all the cells here, and that's it. That's the list of score here for blue, red, and orange. And that's an example of using an index in small in this case. Now, uh, let's move on with the last example here. This is uh, for index in large. Um, the goal here is to just uh, get the top company, but uh, in this case, there is a tie. There are two companies, top performing companies based on revenue. So we're going to use index and large, almost similar with the formula that we created in the first example. And in this cell, this is a helper cell. This is where I'm going to input the formula index and large. So let's start with the large function to be used as uh, the row number for the index. So I'm writing the large. And uh, the array for the large is, again, an if statement. So we're going to test this value here. We will go directly to the revenue, which is equal to the maximum revenue, again, uh, for all the cells. So that's an array again. And uh, close it. That's a logical test, comma. If that is true, then return the row number, 
use this row here, the four. By the way, we lock it here, lock it here, and then just minus the first row plus one. So that's the same thing. We're creating a series of uh, one, two, three, four, five, F or F four for this one. And that's it. That's the value. If true, close it. Leave it blank if it's false. Now for the K again, the trick is to have an expandable range using the rows formula. If it's uh, formatted as column, then use the columns with this. But in this case, we're going to use the row because this is the format. This is the kind of format that we have. So for the rows, let me start here. Okay, colon. Lock the first cell, just the first cell here, and then close it, close the large, control shift, enter. Okay, so that's it. Copy and paste it. There you have it. And this is the four and this is the three because uh, company C and D have the same value. Those are the top companies. So uh, again, we wanted to have not the, not the number but the name of the company. So we're going to use the index for that. Index again. This is the array F4, comma. Close the index and then uh, put if error to eliminate the num error, comma, double code for a blank, close it, control shift, enter, copy, control C, control V, and that's it. Now, in here, if you want to display these two values in, in one cell, just use text join formula for that. And the delimiter will be, I'll put a code, comma, and then space. And then uh, that's the end of the delimiter, comma. Ignore empty cells. Yes, that's true, comma. And the text will be this array. And then close it, enter, and that's it. Now, if we, if we have three companies with the same uh, value, three top companies, that, that will be the answer. All of them will be displayed here. Control Z. If there is only one, for example, like that, then there's no problem. So that's it. Control Z again. It's, this is the original. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time. And thanks.